Greetings, chat. Hope everyone is having a lovely Sunday. I'll have us here on the title screen for the last couple minutes. some nice weather here. It's been rainy a bit, but it is sunny today. So I get some nice light in the apartment. I've got a uh, German potato salad slow cooker. It's got slices of Yukon gold potato and some red onion and celery and lots of mustard in the sauce. So that'll be fun to try afterwards. My voice preserving tea, which I seem to need a lot of for this game. I was seriously feeling a bit of a sore throat by the end of last session just because there was so much dialogue in this. You can see time passes in the opening title screen here. It was showing as morning when I first started up the game. It's coming on towards evening. So let's see. Not sure how long it'll take to load, so let's just head on in. Here we are. So we've just seen Gwen off. That's what happened at the end of the last, well, really our first session together. Now, where are we? Okay, after our encounter with Mysterious Bird, it, it kind of kicks us out away from the ever everywhere, I think. Uh, we've got some new locations over here the game would like us to check out this one, Alstein Mines, which is on the other side of this ice barrier. Uh, however, we also want to check on that turtle icon, because Astrid asked us to do that. But before we go anywhere, let's just check our bearings. One of the one of the dangers from the, in this game is you can't miss some content by going too fast. And I think there was a little bit of Gwen's dialogue that we missed just because I was doing quests as soon as they came up and such. And so let's uh, let's first investigate what's this inside Gwen's house? Right by her bed is a spirit flower. Atul, you've got to chill out just for a moment because I'm looking at stuff. Aha, a spirit flower. And now we have the spirit flower that we need to get the icebreaker upgrade for our boat. We also need some more oak, some slate, and some iron. It should have been nicknamed the pickup line because it's a real icebreaker. Ugh. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's start moving. Olga. Let's head over here. Greetings if you just joined us. We just, uh, retrieved a spirit flower from 
Gwen's room, and we're heading off to find Astrid's friend. It's marked on the map. Let's see, let's plant some more linen. I'm sure we'll need loads of that as we go. build multiple fields and gardens, but compared to other games that are kind of in this general vein, like Raft, there's much less emphasis on uh, scaling up your production. This isn't a game where maximum efficiency is really important in that way. What's this that we found? Oh! That's a turtle, all right. She's here. Tell us about this, Astrid. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we are. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to see her, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. She's always been a kind person, and we go way back, me and her. But I've got to tell you. Last time we saw each other, things didn't go that well. Mm -hmm. She might still hold a bit of a grudge against me. It's not my fault if I say things as they are. <laughs> you don't always make friends by being honest. Mm -hmm. And you might even lose a few. But we're old now. So canoe under the bridge, as they say. Mm -hmm. Follow my lead? Yes. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Olga! You haven't changed a bit, old friend. Still so... green. Astrid! My dear old Astrid, I'm glad to see you. And glad to see that you're out of your old shell. Would you happen to owe this to this charming young lady here? You are the new spirit fairer, aren't you? Albert was telling everyone that Charon had been replaced. Stella, isn't it? When I think he borrowed my hairbrush and never gave it back. Okay, I, I can see this being a lady in life. What, when did Albert borrow a hairbrush, though? He used to be a living human, too. Oh, well. I hope this new job of yours doesn't weigh too heavily on your frail shoulders. You can count on me to give you a hand, my little lady. So tell me, Astrid, what brings you here? Mm -hmm. As you said, I'm back in the world. The first thing I wanted to do was pay you a little visit. You know, to uh, catch up on things. Mm -hmm. How are you and your sisters doing? Oh, you know, Irina is still focusing on her studies. And Masha has picked up a new hobby. Knitting. She says it keeps her stress levels low. Not that she's ever done anything really stressful, mind you. But she crafts nice little mitts for the winter. You should pay them a visit as well. Oh, and Astrid. Mm -hmm. Yes? You won't believe what I'd heard the other day. Mm -hmm. What? Miss Shrewsbury is pregnant. Again. Mm -hmm. What? I can't believe it. Yes. And you know what? Bob is not the father. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> if she doesn't like gossip, I'll eat my star-shaped hat. You're kidding me. Incredible! Mm -hmm. Oh well, she always knew how to lure them boys. And speaking of boys, 
I heard Giovanni is back. And from a reliable source at that. <laughs> Gio. The right part of the screen, part of Turtle's bubble with the three dots is cut off. Yes, I I made the word bubbles much bigger than their default. So that anyone who might have trouble reading them would not have trouble. But I guess they're not guaranteed to quite fit in frame if that happens. Giovanni is back. Who told you that? Mm -hmm. Where? When? Well, if you're interested, I can go dig deeper. But are you interested? Mm -hmm. Yes. Huh? Uh, no. No. I don't care what he does. Mm -hmm. I don't want to know. He can frolic all he wants. Ooh. As you wish. But you know what? I'll go check my sources and I'll write back to you. Just in case. Now that you're traveling in good company, I know where to find you. Mm -hmm. Sure, okay. But no rush. I'm happy Stella found me and I want to spend some time with her and her crew for now. Mm -hmm. Olga dear, could you show her what you can do? I'm certain your help will be greatly appreciated. But of course. And on with the main attraction. Come here, little lady. I'm a very old being, but I'm not very wise. Yes, a bit like Astrid. <laughs> but there are some things I can do. My specialty is patience. And spinach puffs, but we won't talk about that right now. If you look carefully, there are three receptacles on my back. You plant logs, ores, or rocks in them. And then you wait. You wait for me to come back to the surface. And when I'm back, the rocks or logs you used will have become a tree or a mining rock. Isn't that nice? I can't tell you what my secret is, but you'll have to know one thing. It's normal if they smell like strawberries, okay? Alright, hop on my back, little lady. Okay. Okay, so we can put stuff here. We've got quartz, copper ore, Couple kinds of logs. Limestone and coal. Okay, let's put some limestone and coal and some oak. So any uh anything that we want to have more of, aside from wherever it's naturally found in the world, we can multiply here. Stello! Good morning. Indeed, good morning. Are you done? Yes. Wonderful. I'll go back underwater for some time. Do not worry. I'll re-emerge as soon as what you've planted can be fully harvested. In the meantime, take care of yourself and of your passengers, Stella. Bye now. See you soon. Hi, Astrid. Mm -hmm. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. Alright, let's see. What can I give you? Do you like a cup of tea? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. <laughs> I love the sandwich. Clean living, friend. Clean living. Oh, we can talk to you again. Mm -hmm. She had a lot to say, didn't she? 
running her mouth like that. She's always been chatty, this one, but I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but her eyes are a bit scary. Soothing and kind, for sure, but scary. Mm -hmm. I think she should talk to someone about this, but enough about her. <laughs> Thanks a lot for having brought me to her, Munchkin. It's really appreciated. Mm -hmm. There is always so much going on, I can't get enough of it. Also, what she said about that Giovanni character. Mm -hmm. Well... Mm, you know what? Mm -hmm. Never mind. We'll have ample time to talk about this later. I don't want to bore you with this now. Mm -hmm. See you later, Stella. Okay. Well, I think we better start sailing. New request, bars of gold. Let's, let's head off. Ah, there's a, an exclamation point there already. That's interesting. Let's go to these crates and come back. Have a nice short trip. Uh, here's something in the mail. Urugawa Tours. Another one? Uh, Urugawa Tours. Greetings from Urugawa. Experience the wonders of the great outdoors. You can now take a tour of the city. See the shops, visit our shrine, take in the sights. Available now in Kurogawa. Okay. And some things. Stella. Good, I see this shark didn't gouge you too much with his delirious prices. I know how these people are, always trying to scam you from your money. And don't you dare be weak in front of them, they will smell it right away. Mm -hmm. Like the rabid dogs they are. Anyway, now that you've upgraded your blueprint table, I see that you can build a foundry. I could teach you a thing or two, you know. Mm -hmm. I come from a long line of metal workers, and as much as I've learned how to fight for the workers' rights in factories, I've also learned how to operate such heavy machinery. <laughs> and let me tell you, it's absolutely fantastic! Mm -hmm. It sure doesn't sound like it, and it's dirtier than you would expect. <laughs> but the vibrations, the sounds, the heat... You know what? Be a dear and build one for us. Mm -hmm. It will come in handy in your travels, and I will have something to do with my hands. Good idea. How are you a tool? I got planks! Ooh. Planks? Get your planks! I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy. Aw, oh, an oak plank. Thank you. Got some goodies. Get all this stuff off the boat. Go diving. Okay, Olga has surfaced, so I think we can go straight back here. And we can cycle stuff through the garden as well. Got some leaks. There was something I wanted to add to Summer's house. And 
Let us times three. Monstra Deliciosa, also known as the cheese plant. It is neither cheese nor is it delicious, trust me. It makes oak logs and leeks, and yes, we can build it. Very nice. Summer has a better house. Okay, I don't hear Olga's music, so it sounds like maybe she wouldn't actually be back yet. No, okay. I'll try coming back later then. have the iron or the slate for the icebreaker. We don't have enough for the bigger boat. We don't have what we need for the new boat. There's not a lot we can do at Albert's right now. Uh, so let's... That is past the line. So let's go over... Actually, let's go back to Villa Maggiore first, because there's a blueprint chest that we should be able to get to. And we like those. I guess I let Summer sleep in today. Hi, Summer. Oh. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? See what we got. Fruit. A meal certainly isn't complete without a little dessert. Have a hug. Don't you feel better now? I don't think I have any new stones. Everybody else needs hugs, too. Oh, you need some food. Have some... real fish? Mm -hmm. This is really good, Munchkin. You know, I'm a simple person. And simple people love plain dishes. Mm -hmm. Unpretentious, simple food. And this is exactly it. Thank you. I think the size of the meal may determine how long it is till they start getting... Have a big hug. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good, I needed that. Alright, Alex. Look, we were doing very somber things last time. Let's turn your music back on. Well, well, well. Well, well. Well. Reconsidered, haven't you? Coming back on your knees, begging little old Alex for a little morsel of music. Has the monotony of silence gotten to you? Are you feeling it, Stella? Building and building and building. Like a river overflowing behind a dam. This buzzing that can only be drowned by the most powerful of sonatas. Well, lucky for you, Stella, I am magnanimous. Summer, I I'm going to have to apologize to you for this. You have but to ask and I shall give. Do you want to hear my fabulous music again? Yes. Fantastic! Wonderful! Let us talk no more then. For it is time to party! <laughs> oh my goodness. Never change, Alex. Let's go back to Gwen's old house. And this upgrade, I I had looked it up earlier. It it uh, really is only accessible now that Gwen has left, so it wouldn't have done any good for us to have tried to get it earlier. I took a, a good look around for 
That is this still growing? Uh, let's see if there's something I can cook, maybe. I'm thinking. Pork chops are the way into my heart. Yeah, I I know. It, well, As I find some pork to make some pork chops, we'll be in business. Mm hmm. What's going on over here? Small child! I've cracked it. The door is finally open. I can rest easy knowing I have a place to. Well, rest. This riches to rag story has really shaken my core. I just wanted to be a rich person. But no, faith has stepped in. My new life is more precious to me. I will harvest this land. I will be victorious and reign supreme on these veggies. I am the gardener of my own life. Uh Okay, we can get in his little house. It's this chest. Oh, new improvement acquired. Garden upgrade. That sounds great. Now there's still a chest on the roof, but we can't get to it until we can do something better with that bouncy cannon. So let's go back to the boat. We can just barely get moving. So let's... Let's avail ourselves of Alex again, because we can. Suppose we say to improve the garden. Let those vegetables breathe and swing. We need linen fabric, wool fabric, and nebula fabric. Well, we've only got one of those three things. How about the foundry? We need more coal and we need oak planks, okay? Honk, 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 honk. Okay, Alex, take us to this cluster of islands we haven't done anything with yet. Okay, it's too dark to navigate and we're stuck with the seal and his music. <laughs> this is why we're given the option to turn his music off. Well, there he's off. And da, 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 watering all the lettuce. All right, let's go fishing. We haven't done much fishing. Now, whenever I'm letting the tension off the line, I'm generally um, spamming the X button instead of just taking my hand off because that releases enough tension but makes it so that the fish doesn't lose too much progress. And for some of the trickier fish, that is really crucial. Oh, we got a cod. I think that's new. squid. Let's catch one more thing. Well, I don't know. We may be almost through nighttime by now. Oh, 
Another cod. Sleep until morning, yes, if you can. <laughs> Alex never sleeps. He's got... Well, Alex has too much energy to sleep. out of here. Iwashima countryside. Go. Go anywhere. Bye, Alex. Good morning. What do you like? Steamed shellfish? Mm -hmm. I won't eat that. Oh, don't like acquired taste. All right. Uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I feel that would be inappropriate. Okay, no hugs right now. Let's see, what would it take to make her house? Iwashima countryside discovered. That looks pretty. don't have a house for Astrid yet. Okay. Sheep corral. Windmill. Orchard. There are other things that'll be on the docket soon-ish. got mushrooms here. Got a chest up there. Got this big tree. Hi, Astrid. <laughs> I'm picking up some ore. <laughs> Hello, spirits. What I love about spitting is the talent you need, you know? It takes real skill to find a target, aim, and hit a bullseye. That's skill and raw talent right there. I just love that I'm good at something. Okay, live the dream. I could spit off tall buildings forever. On the off chance that I might hit someone right in the head. I seem to never run out of spit. This small bridge isn't very high up and nobody ever swims down there. Still, it's pretty satisfying to spit. Oh. I'm fully equipped. I've got my mouth. I've got my bottle of water. Oh. Ready, and I've got the spirit to do it for years. Clearly, your spirit shape would be a seagull. Bad attitude. West humble abode. Hmm. Where'd that come from? Wow, berries! Ooh. These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. I'm sad. Ooh. But you won't say why. You are hungry. Have some shellfish. Ooh. Delicious! I had a hankering for this. Wasn't that great favorite niece of mine? Feeling better? Okay, his memories of his old family life are kind of bringing him down. He's been homesick. But he's got other nice stuff going on. of oak here, which is good because we need it for lots of things. Lots of 
of whatever this is. Limestone. Loads of copper. Wow, berries. Uh, okay, well, let's... Humble abode. Check the mail. A letter from Olga. Astrid has received a letter from Olga describing a nice house she might like. Olga hasn't got any news from the enigmatic Giovanni. Okay. Gotta check our mailbox to get the details. Have fun, you two. Where shall we go? Another of Rupert's sweepstakes. <laughs> Like to harvest what I planted on Olga. She's way over there, but that gives us a good bit of sailing. Let's go. Okay, a letter from Olga. The front reads to Astrid. Astrid. While the two of us caught up on the latest gossip, I forgot to give you something. I found this while flipping the magazines, and it made me think of you. It definitely fits your style and panache. Also, I heard a rumor your husband could be in Iwashima countryside. It might be worth checking it out. I'll keep asking around, just in case. Old friend Olga. We're just there. What is it, Munchkin? A letter, you say? From Olga. Mm -hmm. This is so nice of her. Mm -hmm. Olga had news about Giovanni's whereabouts. Iwashima countryside, you say? Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey. We should probably go take a look. Mm -hmm. And what? An inspiration for a house. For me? Mm -hmm. How thoughtful. Can't deny it, Olga knows me so well. Yes, indeed. I would be very happy to have such a nice den to live in. Mm -hmm. It's always pleasant to know someone is thinking about you. I mean, you could have thought about this yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, I know you're very busy, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Being the spirit fairer and all. It's okay, I won't begrudge you. And I know you. You'll build this nice cabin aboard as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. You're so resourceful, after all. Thanks a lot, Stella. I can't wait. Okay, before we handle the lightning, I want to see if we have any empty bottles to pick up. We've got lots of lightning in a bottle, actually. Do we have any... I don't think we have any... Okay, glim bottles. That gets us a couple more empty ones. Quick! Lightning storm! Don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? Oh. Sure. That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. Maybe on our way back we can try out the safe travel mode that should skip this sort of thing. Because after a while, you get so much lightning in a bottle that you don't need to do this anymore. It's almost worth it for the music, though.
Ah, check it out. Doing some woodworking in his own house. He's even got his own safety goggles. That's so cute. What is your house? Linen fabric and slate. We've got no slate yet. Linen fabric is something we could work towards. Need more coal for the foundry. Oh, planks. gonna need more oak planks in general so I'm gonna just make some Controller shakes a little bit whenever I stray off the line. I got planks! Planks, get your planks! I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy! to the kitchen. The kitchen's so small, I almost lost track of it. Let's see, we've got... Put in some common mussels. We've got loads of carrots. Let's see what happens if we combine those. As he's been thinking. What's up? Ooh. Still wants pork chops. All right, all right. Give you most fruit. Ooh. Delicious. I had a hankering for this. Ooh. Not in a hugging mood. Brightens my day. Have some popcorn. Thank you, Munchkin. Don't be afraid. You're so pretty, Munchkin. You remind me so much of how I used to be when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I used to wear a red ribbon in my hair, just like in the magazines. The boys always noticed me, you know. I could have had Tony, the barber's son. Mm -hmm. He was quite rich and had a red convertible. Or even Al, the ski champion. Oh, Al, he had the nicest butt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, but Giovanni. Ah, uh, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Whatever I did, whatever happened, he always made me smile. 
His eyes looked like shooting stars. His hair smelled like morning dew. But enough of this. Mm -hmm. Daydreaming won't get us nowhere. Let's do something productive. Aren't your crops in need of water? Red Ribbon just like the Cowardly Lion. Ah. Hi, Olga. Now, if we talk to her, she'll probably... Assume that we're ready to have her submerge. Limestone. interesting things about Olga is you can see it takes several seconds for the little icon to appear showing that we can put stuff back onto her. It's often easier to move on. Uh, let's see. Let's put down some... Kind of just going by whatever we've got the least of. Let's put in some more coal and some more limestone. <laughs> My sisters and I have been traveling the sea for ages. People of the ocean are in dire need of financial help. Did you know people have no savings? If you side with us, you are sure to earn more than your imagination can muster. We play the market of logs and ore. In no time, your investment will be doubled, even tripled. Just jump on my back. Invest in our sailing enterprise. Stella, are you all done there? Yes. All right. I'll see you later then. Daffodil wouldn't go to sleep there. Put in some courage. <laughs> oh my god, that I ain't gone. Oh, too dark to navigate. Alright, well, something went ding in the kitchen, so let's go to the Ooh, new recipe! Shellfish stew! That sounds good. Can you make some more of that? We've got... Loads more muscles. Sure. they keep their profits in the banks. Banks of the river sticks. This is a boat pretty full of stuff for a place where you're not supposed to be able to take it with you. Uh, okay, let's, uh... Take another look through here. Oh, we've got enough coal and oak planks for our foundry. However, it's gigantic. It's absolutely stinking gigantic. So we're gonna have to move some things. I don't like separating the garden and the field. We may have to.
this? No, there's not enough space there. Uh, let's see. all the way up there. There we go. Hey, we've got a foundry. And all the rest of these things. Okay, we could build a sheep corral. Uh, copper ingots will need the foundry for that, I'm sure. Field and the garden together. Okay, and now let's go. Well, let's go back to the Washima countryside. Let's turn on safe travel mode. You can see the indicator there in the bottom. Let's try that. That should skip the lightning storm, I'm pretty sure. Just a spot of fishing. in a bottle. That's fun. Help! Help me! I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here's my location on the map. 58 minus 11. Oh my. I'm gonna write that down. Now where is that? too far from here. Hard about. Good morning, Astrid. Likes plain food. There was something she didn't want, but it wasn't listed as a dislike. Maybe we would just given it to her twice? Wow, into the unknown, yes. Have some grilled veggie. Mm. Thank you, Munchkin. Oh. Mm. Summer! Good morning, honeybee. How about a little snack, Stella? I'm feeling quite hungry. Okay, you can have... You know what? Person you reminded me. Thank you, I was quite hungry. Don't you feel better now? It's simply beautiful. <laughs> Do you feel that heat, Munchkin? You smell these fragrances of molten metals and heavy machinery? This is where magic happens. Help! Help! Get to you in a sec here. We are going to make some beautiful things in here. Let's go inside so I can explain how it works. Okay, first of all though, this person is stuck. My raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was going to see my sister on... Wait, I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. There's rice patches, a shop, and a big monument. Oh, please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please. Okay. I mean, you could come on the boat. I've got a surprise. I was hungry, as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside the boat and gathered some berries. But I went a little overboard. 
I have too much. Here you go. Oh. Have a wonderful day. Strawberries. Let's not leave this in the oven forever. Alright, dude. Well, if you're not gonna come on the boat, I'm just gonna sail away. We're not at an established location, really. So we haven't revealed a big circle around the boat, but here we are. Alright, well, let's keep on going back to the Iwashima countryside. Uh, and let's keep on doing safe travel mode. And let's see what Astrid's got to say. Ooh, look at this big thing. What a machine! Oh my. Stella, this is a first-class foundry you've got here. Even I myself couldn't have done better. Simply stunning. Let me run you through the basics. This is a complex machine and you have to be careful around it. First, you have to load ore in the furnace. Then you have to throw coal in the burner to power it. The machine will then reach its working temperature. Then whatever ore you've deposited in the furnace will be smelted into ingots. The bellows on each side of the furnace will make the heat go up. Each metal will behave differently, but once the right temperature is reached, the fusion starts. Mm -hmm. You'll have to make sure the temperature remains at the right level. Below it, the process simply stops, and above it, well... You don't want to see this happen, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. That's it. I've told you all you needed to know. Have at it. Okay. Uh, now, with the foundry, you always want to put all five in if you can, because it, it just speeds things up. You, it doesn't take any longer to smelt five things than to smelt one, so you might as well go for it. There's that. We haven't got tons of coal, but we'll put some in there. We should give some more to Olga when we see her next. Okay, after it's kind of in the way, but let's go for that bellows. You can see the temperature indicator there goes up and then it starts slipping back down. You can also see that if we were playing with two players, it would be really easy to keep this going. And you can kind of see the little indicators on the dial that show where the temperature needs to stay. And for each metal, that range is a different size and is in a different place. Great work. Hey, copper ingots. Mm -hmm. Oh, Stella, how I wished all the metal workers I've met were as gifted as you are. You look so small and weak, but you danced around the smelter like a veteran forge master. I'm so proud of you. Mm -hmm. This is a splendid machine, and I'm sure you'll put it to good use. I'll even indulge myself and use it from time to time, if you're okay with that. Excellent. Hey, Atul. Have some... Got some shellfish stew. Regular and old-fashioned. Regular size meal, and it's an old-fashioned type. Smells funny when it cooks, but tastes great. Ooh. Service on this ship is incredible. It's not hungry. Okay. All right. Well, wasn't there something we needed copper? The sheep corral. We also need more oak planks. Got loads of oak.
quite perfect. Okay, well here's the Iwashima countryside. Looks like Astrid is reacting to that. Perfect. We're here. Let's see if he's around. Lots of back and forth today, but you don't want to take this game too fast. All right, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Olga said in her letter that Giovanni could have been around. Knowing him as I do, I have my doubts. He wouldn't linger in a place like this. Mm -hmm. But who knows? Maybe if you ask around, we might find a clue or two. I'll leave you to it. I don't want to go too far. Mm -hmm. The humidity here is killing me. Go. Go. I trust you will find interesting stuff. Okay, well... Ooh. Ooh. I don't remember his name. That knight didn't call for names, if you know what I mean. I do remember his legs, though. Oh, brother. Wait! He has a wife? He didn't say anything about it. He did say that he was going to Furugawa. Well, if you ever meet up with him, tell him... Tell him that Eileen misses him. Dear. Uh, I didn't see on the map if any of our resources had regrown, but I'm gonna just double check on that first. Got strawberries. Those are still growing. All right. Because the map does show you if you take the trouble to look. Bummer. Mm -hmm. He was here, you say, and he met some. No. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me. I don't want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I do. But just a tiny bit. Only where he went. Mm -hmm. Furugawa, you say? I think I know where that is. I've heard it's a lovely place. Mm -hmm. Well, at least that's what the brochures said. Mm -hmm. I've always loved those colorful flyers. They make you travel without leaving your seat. Mm-hmm. All right, Munchkin, let's check it out. All right. Urugawa. Mm. Build Astrid's house yet? We need slate and linen. Okay, don't have any slate yet. Okay, well. Oh, Furugawa's all the way over there. There's pork. It's here. This is Mount Torayama. Well, let's go there. And let's hit up these crates on the way. I'm getting more seeds from these flotsam piles than from properly purchasing slate. Aren't we just needing that?
Yes, but we don't have a reliable source of it yet, or enough of it for anything. So, off to Mount Toriyama. is probably thinking about his pork chops. Uh, let's plant some corn. Yama discovered. The mountain, all right. Broke all this lettuce. some point I'm gonna need to properly buy some seeds. Oh look at this! And look up in the sky. There's Gwen's constellation. There's another one next to it. Hmm. Well, let's see what's going on at Mount Toriyama. I'll have some tea. sheep. I'm up there in a sec. Nothing over this way. It's all scenery. Oh. Hello, spirit. Oh, hello there, young lady. How are you doing? Oh. Yes, right. Perhaps you can help me. You must have stumbled upon a fluffy sheep on the loose down there. I tried getting it back in its enclosure. But the stubborn creature wouldn't listen to me. Chance is on your side. Its weak spot is its gluttony. So it will definitely follow anyone who would feed it. Could you be a deer and give it a try? <laughs> One sheep, two sheep. Okay. Uh, that's a locked place. Try out the sheep in a moment here. Ooh. We're in a mine. Useful things, I hope. Loads of it. That's good. Uh, here is something I can't do anything with yet. These mines are where you s where you see some of the really metroidvania kind of content where you have to unlock areas by getting your new abilities. Hi, Astrid. Slate! Loads of it! Alright, now we're in business. I'm 
picking up some ore. Have some... Grilled fish. I always say, plain dishes make delicious dishes. You can quote me on that one. We got an opal and an apple seed. I bet Summer would like that opal for her healing minerals collection. Eh, oh, now we're up here. Little rock. Little table. Let's do something crazy. We. Okay, well this spirit suggested feeding the sheep. So let's talk to the sheep. We can feed it. We've got some rice. We've got some corn. Corn we can grow on the boats. Let's try. Oh, it's following us. Oh, oh great, it's following you. Now, just lead it to the enclosure next to the pier. Or follow me. I'm going there. Goodness! Oh, what a nice sheep. It followed you all the way to its home. Always following your stomach, aren't you, little guy? Hehe. <laughs> My sons were just like that. Don't you think it looks lonely? Maybe that's why it left. I'm going to keep it company, don't worry. But maybe... Well, if you found another stray sheep, you could bring it back here. They could entertain each other. Well, if it is not too inconvenient for you. Oh, I'm Alice, by the way. Very nice meeting you. To again. Have you found another sheep? I'm happy to keep you company, but another sheep would probably be better company than a silly old lady. Don't you think? Mm, you're fine. Alright, so we're supposed to find another sheep very well. I remember seeing a sheep somewhere around. Astrid's bungalow yet? Yes, we just need some linen fabric, and we can make that in the loom. Excellent. relaxing mini games. The eternal question, of course, is can we fit Astrich Bungalow? Good gracious. It would be more difficult than usual. Let's see if we can swing by the traveling merchant. He might have some stuff to sell. He's never far away. Back there he is. Oh, new place. Oseki Quarry. Alright, well let's 
Let's go talk to Francis first. Morning, Astrid. Mm -hmm. Oh, Munchkin, I can't wait for my cabin to be ready. It's going to be so pretty. Don't get me wrong, the guest house is really cozy. It's just a bit small and busy and smelly. Mm -hmm. Some of us could use a bath, I think. But I'm not judging. No, of course not. Good morning, Sprout. All right, Francis, what can you do for us? Sell this valuable ring. Uh, now, I also happen to know I'm only going to want only one apple seed, so I'm going to sell off one of them. sell off too many other things. I guess we don't really have a lot of valuable chachis right now, unfortunately. Uh, Alright, well let's see what we can buy for today. That will actually help. Two odd seeds. Always good to get those when we can. Okay, so next, there's Hoseki Kori and there's Furugawa. There's all kinds of seeds there and there's pork, which we know a tool will be happy about. Let's see if we can plant those odd seeds. I'm thinking. Yep, still wants his pork chops. Give you anything else. Poppy doesn't want a hug. This building needed some work done on it. I'm always ready for some DIY action. I just hope the others appreciate it. Ooh, check it out. It's an eclipse. That's a better view. I'm too high. There we go. <laughs> Love the lighting effects here. a little snack, Stella. I'm feeling quite hungry. Sure, you can have real veggie. Hmm. All this corn. Rogawa discovered. A big slope with a lot of stuff on it. All right, Astrid. Don't know if you'll. Don't know if you want to know, really. Mm -hmm. All right, we're here. Let's go down. look around. Mm -hmm. Hmm, that's funny. Is it his cologne that I can smell? This particular mix of musk and nonchalance. Mm -hmm. He must have been here recently. Quick, Munchkin, let's ask around. Hmm, I 
I see rice fields. Giovanni! That name! Don't say that name! He almost broke up my marriage. He came here a month ago. I love that shocked expression on Stella's face. Big man. Thinking he's the boss. Good thing my wife came to her senses. He apparently didn't like the weather. Good riddance. Hi there. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. I live a simple life. Hello to you too. Hi there. I should get back to it. Okay, fine. Oh dear. Lost at sea. He always does this. Oh, it's the guy's sister. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. The year before was the bad economy. How can I be sure you're not some strange person he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that snaps him out of it. Letter from your sister. The front reads to Simon, you idiot. <laughs> Simon, this young lady told me of your misfortunes. You must either be the most unlucky person in the world, or you truly don't want to see your family. Closed is my address. Don't get lost this time. Your sister, Agatha. <laughs> okay. Sliding door. <laughs> A howler, then. <laughs> Something like that. Moist should be outlawed. Uh, now, what could it be? Oh, what impeccable timing! I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Ushiro period, and as such, are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. Uh -huh. I am certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. Uh -huh. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Uh -huh. Whatever he is. But with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, uh -huh. well, I'm sure you can smooth your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. Five views of Mount Furugawa. All right, can't get into that house. Oh, a visitor. A lot going on here. Welcome to the world-renowned Furugawa Tours. Ah yes, I got your brochure. The tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of this city. After, you'll have so many anecdotes about this place. You'll be the life of the party, if you ever attend one. <laughs> My boat is a party. Ready? Yes. Perfect. Let's start right away. To begin, a powerful symbol. Directed to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, past lovers. Legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. Another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter. As long as I can carry on doing these tours. Huh. Fair distance, please. Alright, alright. Fair enough. Ooh. Ah, 
Oh, hey, there's the shop. Since this is a vibrant city, we have a Raccoon Ink location. Considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares. It is also, coincidentally, the only merchant business in town. <laughs> Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a staple of a thriving economy. A fun little fact. Anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to honor their founder. Mm. Truly a sign of devotion. I myself do not shop at this particular establishment. I make my own clothes and furniture. Mm. This isn't particularly noteworthy, but as it is... Bleh, it is a small tidbit in your tour guide life. Alright, well we'll stop by you later because you have the pork we need. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Here. Ooh. This shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. That story is... Ooh. Give me a second. I'm not sure, actually. Which is why it's so important. Ooh. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of this shrine. Moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Ooh. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Ooh. This concludes our tour. Urugawa Tours is grateful for your participation. Thank you for your ears and your patience. Ooh. Thank you again. A gratuity is expected if you enjoyed the tour. Does 50 Glims sound fair? Yes. Ooh. Amazing. I knew you had an educational spirit. Thank you for believing in my teaching aptitudes. Okay, what do we get at this shrine? We have two obbles, and we can get a new ability, Glide. While in the air, hold A to glide. Okay, acquire. Flashing lights warning, probably. While in the air, hold A to glide. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, I'm using my hat. Whee! Oh, hello there. Oh. I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Oh. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. Oh. I want to enjoy this view forever. Key for Furugawa House. Oh, excellent. Oh. Look at that mountain. It's so real, it's like a drawing. <laughs> oh. As we can this way. We found this! Signed vintage poster. Magic Mystery Parade, 1967. Classic. Should be sold. Theodore. Hey. Well, hello there, customer. Is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Hey. Oh, a woodprint, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first it was this pedantic person, very rude. Oh. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, gave them some junk instead. And then, later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war. But she offered me some serious coin for it, 
that lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. Oh. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Okay. Well, let's see. Pork is a rich meat full of bullion. Nice sweet meat. Oh, let's see. You don't need apples. What could do with linen, leeks, and rice. Anything I missed? Not over there. Person? Oh, oh. Go to you two. Alright. Thank you again for your time. Okay, sorry about the wood or the fringe. Uh -huh. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No. It was already sold. Uh -huh. But how? Wait. Is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Uh huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Uh huh. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the Collector, if you can believe it. Uh -huh. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should never have told her about my collection. That ugly ass sack face. Uh -huh. <clears throat> well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. I don't specifically know why. But the news of a new spirit bearer made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit bearer. Uh -huh. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Minus 150, 150. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh-huh. This? Oh, do not worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. Okay. Well, we can get in here now. Linen seed and large glim bottle. Good for us. Five hundred glims in a bottle. And the bottle itself, too. Aha! Here we are. You've got some moves. I come up here to see everyone from up high. Everyone is so small. I feel big and strong. If you run into my mom, just don't tell her I'm here. I want this feeling to last a little bit longer. Got some rice seed and leek seed. Uh, can't quite get up there. What a bust. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we didn't find Giovanni here. Sorry, Stella. I... <clears throat> oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. Enough is enough. I'm done wasting my time. I won't be looking for that hoodlum anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't need him to be happy. I don't need to hear his stupid jokes and incessant yammering. I don't need to be suffocated by his floral cologne. Mm -hmm. I don't need to have him constantly showering me with praise. I don't need to see his flamboyant mane. I don't... Mm -hmm. I... Let's go back to the boat, Munchkin.
251, hello! Welcome to the world's coziest afterlife. Uh, let's see. Odd seed? Sure, let's grab it. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's why you're here? Cool. Let's see, which one of these places do the odd seeds go? loads of linen. Let's just plant some of this rice. So how are you today, 251? I think I saw you were playing... What was it? Halo? Earlier? seeds for the garden. You're super into Halo at the moment. Cool. What's this? This is Spiritfarer. The game that came out during 2020. Its tagline is that it is a cozy management game about dying. Um... I think the best way you can describe it is, imagine you were playing Animal Crossing, except that your island is the last stop before people pass on to whatever comes after this life. And when people ask to move off your island, they're actually asking you to help them take that final step. A letter from Albert. What's he got for us? Brent reads special giveaway. Air draft. New blueprint. Dear valued customer, we are running a special promotion. Closed as a new type of building. All pun part of our new Buntacular series. An air draft device. Hope you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Albert, the local shipwright. New blueprint, you say. Air draft. Finally, you can go see some clouds. So if we want to build one of those air draft things to glide on, on the boat, we could do that. Uh, but right now, where shall we go? Ooh. What is this? Tuna. Investigate the tuna. Proseki quarry. The collector is at minus 150. 150. So all the way the heck up there. Let's try... Well, I'd also like to find a sheep. Because Alice asked us to find a sheep. Uh, we're going to need to go back to one of our previous locations for that. And Olga's ready. So, there's a sheep. There's a sheep at Hummingbird, and there's some more seeds we can get there, too. Where is the nearest bus stop? It's not far away, so let's make a, a little circle around this place, and then we can, we can take the bus over to Hummingbird. We also got to find that guy who's lost at sea. He's all over on that eastern side of the map, too. You still want pork chops. That's right. We have pork now. We can make him his pork chops. So here in the kitchen, if I look up recipes... Some things we discover just by making them, but he 
gave us the recipe for pork chops. Just pork. Wax on, wax off. All right, well, that's easy enough. Let's make... Oh. Hi, Summer. Your chakras are not aligned yet. All right. Okay, we have stopped where there's a tuna on the map. So I'm going to go back to the fishing line. And if any of you are fans of bluegrass music, turn up the volume. We got a big one here. why you have to tap the button to let off line pressure instead of just removing your finger from it because you'll lose too much to keep up with this big fish. Core tuna. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, that's just the quartz dragon again. We don't actually need a whole lot of quartz right now. Let's just let's just go to bus stop. And we can head back out east. thought a catfish or something with that music. You know, ironically, as I recall, the hardest fish in the game are not actually those marked ones. There might be at least one kind of seemingly normal sea creature that is even more difficult than that. That eclipse again. You know, I should go fishing in this nebula area. Alex, I will be with you in a moment. First, I want to see if there's something special I can fish up in this nebula zone. A medium glim bottle. Alright, well that'll do for a first try. Work chops, finally! All right, Alex, take us out. Uh, let us go. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go see Olga first. Because we did leave some stuff on her back. Hey, Munchkin. Oh, nope, meant to talk to you, not go in there. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. Uh, you can have... Popcorn. Thank you, Munchkin. And a hug. A hug brightens my day. Alright, let's get away from Alex. Honk, honk. Bye. Oh, and Summer. First of all, I need to give you... I have a strawberry. Hungry? Have a hug, because I bet you need one. Don't you feel better now? And I want to give you... An opal. Oh, an opal! A burning stone of passion and love. The stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and releases inhibition. But stabilizes emotions as well. In other contexts, opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Cool. Hi, Olga! Actually, is there something special you have to say to us? I should find that out first. Already done, sweetie. Oh, nope. I'll just wait here a little longer until you finish then. Yeah. Alright, now what shall I replenish Olga with? Hole for that boundary. Uh, but slate is something we're only just now getting. So let's put in some slate, some coal, and some. Some copper, why not? Still, uh. Hey, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Oh, Munchkin, I can't wait for my cabin to be ready. It's going to be so pretty. Don't get me wrong, the guest house is really cozy. Mm -hmm. It's just a bit small. I'm reading this only because we've gotten a lot of new viewers since we read it last. And busy. Smelly. Mm -hmm. Some of us could use a bath, I think. But I'm not judging. Are you all done there? Yes. I just need to play so much more Tetris to get Astrid's house in here. I'm kind of hoping I can sell some more stuff first and get a proper boat upgrade. Maybe not. Oh! There's... There's Lost Person. Need to swing by that guy. Uh, let's cook. Ooh. Let's cook. Perspective is everything. This albacore tuna is a huge beast. Small for a tuna, large for a fish. One of you. And some rice. Let's see what that makes. Huh. 
Everything else we fish is going to seem really easy by comparison. A soul! I don't think I've gotten one of those yet. Glim bottles. Ah, oh, here's our shipwrecked person. Give me a sec. Bay shrimp. Ooh. All right. Over here. Would you look at that? You were able to find my sister in the village? That's incredible! Is she mad? Don't tell me. If I make it, I'm sure that it, it will be worth something at least. Thanks again. I'd probably be at the bottom of the ocean without your or my sister's help. Okay, well I gave you the letter, looks like. You have nothing to say. Need that second sheep. All right, well, let's get some chores done during the night. Ooh, fish curry. I'm not sure if I discovered that one in my previous playthrough. Where are you listed? Those are the squid skewers. Could make some more of those. Fish and grain. Smells absolutely wonderful. And for hours, too. <laughs> okay. It's exotic. Let's, uh, let's cook. Some more squid skewers. Move these along. That's not what I needed. I need a oh, linen. Why not? And I had a garden upgrade. I think I just needed some better materials. Can't actually build it. Well, let's see. Can I do some Tetris to build Astrid's house? Kinda big. Just like the foundry. We could open up some space in the middle there. this over. Ooh. Glenn's Lodge can be tucked up in there. Summer can go down there. I think that's giving us a big enough section. Kitchen is easy to kind of stick anywhere.
getting there. <laughs> Everything's up on stilts. Will that do it? Yes. Okay. Can we neaten things up just a little bit. Just a smidge. There we go. That's better. That's cozy. Got this little upstairs section. Nice little sofa. Oh! If I sit down there, it just gives me a nice view of the sky. I'd ever seen that before. Let's see, if we had ash and zinc, we could give her a small fridge, iron and cotton for an old plant, and some more advanced things for a TV set. Right? And we have built both of Summer's upgrades. Blueprint for that one. If we had more slate, we could give Atul a shower. Need fire glow. Put hanging lights in there. Okay. All right, well, let's sleep and get underway in the morning. Still need that sheep. If we find Francis anywhere. Not sure what we have for him quite yet, but that'll be something. Olga's back. And she's between here and a bus stop, so sure. Ring the bell. Wake up, everyone. Let's see if I can remember where I put everything. Squid skewers. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Stella. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this house is just fantastic. Mm -hmm. You know I love simple things. Simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like when it's too complicated or luxurious. Mm -hmm. I just don't. That's who I am. I've always been like that, as far as I remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. Mm -hmm. You know, artists, philosophers, sports athletes. I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? But it didn't mean a thing back then, and it still doesn't up to this day. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. And he didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got to admit, I think I miss him. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. I know he's worthless riffraff. Mm -hmm. I know he probably doesn't give a shit about me now. But... But I just can't forget about him. Mm -hmm. Hey, Munchkin. Do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga has written to us about him, as she said she would. Mm -hmm. I would be so grateful if you did. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot, Stella. <laughs> I won't forget this. Well, Olga's right here, but the quest line doesn't take that into account. E okay, I 
think more slate and coal is going to be the order of the day. More slate, why not? And coal, just because we use it as fuel. Are you all done there? Yes. You want some breakfast, I'm sure. What would you think of squid skewers? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I can't accept this. This is way too fancy for me. Fine dining is a concept I can't get behind. Mm -hmm. You'll have to deal with it. Okay, how about... Fish curry is exotic. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Oh. Mm -hmm. No hugs. Quick talk. I minded this ore when I was on the island with you earlier. I thought of smelting it for you, Munchkin, but I can give it to you instead if you want. What do you think? Let's see what happens if I refuse it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do some smelting later with it then. Yes, it's a technical word. Right? Oh. Yep, you want your pork chops. Guess what? Pork chops. Oh. What? Pork chops? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I am so excited! They look so damn tasty! And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ha! Ah, now I feel just a bit guilty. I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. There was this kid at work. Craig. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. Oh. All nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. Oh. I would send Craig on these endless 24 hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets saffron, sumac, or even anise. It was something like two o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table. Ooh. Calm heads into appeased stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. Ooh. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Ah. All right. Where's that sheep? Where's that sheep? The sheep is in Hummingburg, and actually, I'd like to show something. Remember these jellyfish? The person who used to start this event is no longer on the map, so let's see what happens. Oh, a letter from Olga. Get our limbs. And to Astrid. Astrid, big news. You'll be glad to know that my sources have finally panned out. I heard my sister, Masha, might know something about your husband's whereabouts. You should go and drop in on her. Molga. Okay. Stella. Mm -hmm. I heard we received another letter from Olga. Masha, you say? Mm -hmm. She's her sister. And she might know something about Giovanni's location? Good. Let's go talk to her then. She is... Mm -hmm. How to put it? Special. Me and her... Mm -hmm. 
let's say we've never been friends. And Stella, thanks for playing messenger. Mm -hmm. You're wonderful. <laughs> okay. Ah, Atul's happy. Got some rice. And we got whatever's growing up here. Got a valuable ring from that odd seed. Good investment. So here's the jellyfish area. And. Oh. Astrid? Oh, interesting. I don't think we used to get someone to explicitly explain it any before. This this is new. Your friend Gwen might be gone, but these jellyfish aren't. That symbol on her door is doing something. It might be the key to fight off these jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Try it. Start the event? Yes. So this is a big reason to keep people's houses on the boat, even after they've left us. Because... It's the only way to start their events again. Come here, Bright Jelly. Part of the Tetris game of building is giving yourself the platforms that you want for these events. Two of them. No, come back. So many. We need to keep everyone's houses. We'll run out of space or sink. Well, we there are more boat expansions available to us. We just uh, can't afford them all at the same time. Hey, okay. you hummingbird! We find Francis if we can. she's doing this. Uh, we can't feed her while she's playing, so 
Oh well. can always use some food. Oh, he's working his way towards a snack. Interesting. Why 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 doesn't he just tell us that before we can Oh but oh well. Summer could use some food and you could use some grilled veggies. And we could make some more grilled veggies because I don't have a whole lot of vegan foods left. You know, she likes grain salads. Corn counts as grain. Not ready quite yet. I haven't bothered to build the sheep corral yet, and there's a reason for that. Oh, tool? I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But you know what I would go for? A bucket of fried chicken! That would bring me back. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. Okay, we got a recipe for fried chicken. We're here in Hummingbird, so let's see what useful things we can get. Theodore! Oh, hi, Summer. I'm browsing for some seeds. Okay, we'll need that key eventually, but we don't have the money for it right now. Linen, corn, coffee, carrots, and turnips. Infinite money. Can't get in there. Oh, miss? Yes, young person. Can I assume you are busy? Well, there's the sheep. Wait a second. You clearly don't have the money for this. Come back when you have 5,000 glimps. Alright. Hello, sheep. We will feed you corn. Now you're following us. Splendid. Now, was there another... That's where we found Summer. It's not making its sparkly noise anyway. That is one darned athletic sheep. There. Need to get over to it somehow. E Aha! A vibrant necklace. That'll get us some money. Cheap. There you are. I am Bo Peep. <laughs> Something like that. So this seems to be a black sheep, not one with fleece as white as snow. Sheep? 
Sheep. It is so the sheep can come on our boat even if we don't have a corral that does mean they'll roam all over the place it's kind of hilarious when they do that so we can let it roam for a little while See that? <laughs> Boing. There's Francis. Let's see what we can get from him. And let's ring the bell. Finished cooking. Grain salad. Good for us. Okay, let's see what we can do to sell off some of these expensive chachis. At the risk of flashing my playing against Summers, I'd like to grow these odd seeds while we're here. Francis is right here. Maximum sitar. Everything's all the way done. Another valuable ring. An old carpet, plus all this other stuff. Uh, let's plant... Let's plant carrots. Fine. Just watered, so no need to worry about that. Alright, now we've got all kinds of junk we can... Sell to Francis. Two valuable rings, a signed vintage poster, a vibrant necklace, and an old carpet. That was well done. Can buy his odd seed. All right. I want to make sure we keep this sheep fed, so... Because if you don't, a sheep that's running all over the place could eat our crops. I don't want that. Okay, well let's, uh... Let's head back... To... It's like Mount Torayama. means let's take the bus.
Oink. Oink. Uh, what? My goodness. Something for you. Oh, really? Here are some seeds I bought for your garden. Oh, lettuce seeds. Thank you. Hmm. Have a hug. Don't you feel better now? As a well-improved house, enjoyed listening to a tool's flute, was recently hugged. Summer's happy. Are you a tool? You need a hug? No. You need food. Uh, you would like a squid skewer. What else should we cook? How about, let's see, rice and veggies would probably make another uh, grain salad. What happens if I cook pork and rice? Munchkin. Mm -hmm. There, I made these for you, Munchkin. Copper ingot. Thank you. All right, Alex, take us out. Let's go to... This bus stop near Mount Toriyama. Anything except feed you right now. Now, since I just set a waypoint here, I don't know that I'll come to a full and complete stop. At so I've got to make sure that I don't accidentally leave anything behind here. have slowed down a bit just to give me some time to interact with things if I chose. Which I've already done. Anything else? That's it. Casserole. So pork and rice makes a casserole. That sounds good. Sheep, let's get you over to Alice. You'd have thought pork fried rice? Yeah, it. it oh. I would have thought something more like noodles for a casserole. Good job. Oh. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh, oh they're acting kind of coldly surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. 
I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well... It was nice feeling needed. Oh. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. You know, you're kind of right about that. Oh. For sure, this island is a little bare, but... I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow, with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? Oh. Pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be just fine here. Ah. Blueprint. So, we're going to have to... Build a cozy cottage before Alice comes with us. Very well. So what would it take to build this thing? Iron ingots. Okay, don't have any of those yet. We're probably going to need to buy more space first, too. So let's go find that collector. Minus 150, 150. Here's this Kaltstein Mines place, and oh, there's Masha. Okay, so. Uh, minus 150, 150 would be all the way over there. So let's. Let's just go straight to Kaltstein Mines. Start exploring up that way. And nothing needs watering. What needs cooking? Let's 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 brew some coffee at least. So that doesn't take very long. Hardly need to leave the building. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna need to go talk to Albert because I'm missing something. Look at upgrades. I'm gonna need iron in order to get an icebreaker. Which means I can't cross that line yet. We're almost there, so we'll see what it looks like. I don't have any iron, do I? Not yet. Our way is blocked by icebergs. Which is better than being broken by icebergs. So there you go. That's a big one. Oh wow. There's no way our boat is getting through that. Maybe Albert has something in his arsenal. Some dynamite or something. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> Not exactly, but we need iron first. Alright, well let's see. Quarry. That sounds like a good place. I bet that would be a place to get iron. Let's do some fishing while we're on route. Oh. 
Todd. A shrimp. My eclipse is come and go so quickly here. Yeah, and I get distracted and break my fishing line. <laughs> but yeah, we're in the area on the map where there is one. It's the spirit world. Strange things can happen. Let's sleep. Seki quarry discovered. All right, well that sounds promising. I see watering icons up here not long ago. I think I did. So just go ahead and do that anyway. up and off we go. Okay, there's some mushrooms up here. Is there anything in the water for us? Does not seem to be. It's like kind of a one-track place. this. Coal. Well, that's useful in its way. Find down here. Oh, hello, person. Oh. It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. The place is falling apart. Slate. Okay, that's useful, but it's not iron. I think I'm supposed to train that guy over there. I really don't feel like it. I've been really tired over the past week or so. I can't sleep at night. Let's just hope he gets the hang of the job. Without my help. Uh... This place sounds dysfunctional. Something glowing up there in the upper left corner. More slate. Back to work, I suppose. Nothing I can do with that yet. Hi, Astrid. Mm -hmm. I'm picking up some ore. Would you like... Some coffee. Mm -hmm. Yes, she would. Mm -hmm. Iron ore! 
That's more like it. Will it be enough? We needed 10 for our icebreaker. Hi, person. All right, you gotta get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today is all about digging. Any problems, you have to leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. Hmm. This day is gonna be a long one. Okay. Ooh, ooh, secret passage. Ooh, amethyst and a miniature diorama. I bet Summer loves some amethyst. Diamond and an old painting. My manager is really stressed out. He told me to be quiet today. I shouldn't even be talking to you. Management is coming today. I better make a good impression. I've been practicing my business face and all. Hopefully they notice me in all this darkness. This mine to the boardroom. Moving on up. There's some more iron. Next turtle we talk to, we gotta grow some iron. Okay, that should be enough. Oh. When you don't see the sun, you can imagine it's always noon. That's what my boss says at meetings. Oh. Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Hmm. Huh. Some books here. More books. Cute chair. Oh no. Listen, I've been working here for ten years. I dug this little hole to read a few months ago. Don't tell anyone. I need to play it cool. I can't lose this job. I also can't afford to work that hard. My back really hurts. Take this. Call it a bribe if you want. <laughs> a thousand glims? Okay, dude. Now get out. And remember, no telling. Okay. down there. upgrade. Awesome. That's where I've been before. Yes. Okay, so now I think I'm found about everything I can in here. we go. Whew. Nice to be back out in the light. Alright, so now we gotta get to Albert's pronto. Car 
Hiroshima Lighthouse. Might be a bus stop near there. I see another exclamation point on the map. way over there. Alright, but let's get some of this iron smelted. Not all of it, because I want some left to plant. Oh, we got tons of them. This is great. Put multiple loads of coal in at once. a while to get the iron up to heat. Just have to keep it within those brackets. You don't want it going over. I'm pretty sure that the diamond would sell for more if we kept it, but I don't think I've heard Summer's little speech about the diamond, and we only get her explanations about the gems we actually give her, so I want to try giving her the diamond. Igarashima Lighthouse Discovered. Alright, well let's check this place out while we're here. Theodore. Listen, there's no trouble. I heard what you and your friend did to my colleague. I don't need the stress. Selling goods is a hard profession. My prices will always reflect your brand loyalty towards Raccoon Inc. <laughs> and buy some pork. Buy some seeds. Okay, we can buy some cherry seeds. I won't get any yet. Considering how expensive they are. He also sells... He sells opals. Formed during the mantle's tie-dye phase. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's over here. I like getting some sun here. It's peaceful. Sometimes it isn't. Especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. Jump up and down. Up and down. They love to bounce on the thing. It drives me out of my skin. Nothing else I can do but complain, I suppose. Hmm. I can't jump high enough to get up there. Ooh. Stop that! <laughs> what are you doing? You are ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right this instant. You just can't come here and bounce like some kind of overexcited youth? You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First up, a good attitude. That just applies to life in general. Everything is in the attitude. Then, you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. Calm and cool attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. Okay, we'll leave you alone. can't do much with that place yet. But we should have this area explored. And there's a bus stop and there's another island. 
All right, well, let's talk with Francis, because we need the money. There's always so much more going on than you can get to quickly. That's okay. We don't need to get to this. The afterlife. We have all the time in the world. All right, Francis. Miniature diorama. Almost 1,500. Full of tiny details and microfacial expressions. Should be sold. Old painting. Oil on canvas. Half-legible signature with a skilled display of chiaroscuro and sfumato. Should be sold. Birds doing American Gothic. Seven hundred for the amethyst, and whoa, diamond is expensive. Curiosity worth it. Now, one thing he has is errands. Oh, he'll reward us with some money if we bring him a grilled fish and a grilled veggie. Well, we could do that just while we're here, I suppose. take a little time, but well, it's dark. We might as well. Plus, we need more iron. away. Ding! Huh. Lines on Gwen's house close at night, even though she's no longer here to work. And we have our grilled fish. Three of them. And let's just do the one for now so it won't take for it. Would be nice to make some more just so we have more stuff that we can give to Sun. Many carrots. Lettuce and a wheat. done. There we go. Alright, Francis. Do a trade with you. Healthy menu. One poached fruit, one grilled fish, and a grilled veggie. And we get 2,000 glims. Mm -hmm. Well done. You completed your first errand. What a great haul. There's plenty more to do if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. Any more? Ooh. 
we give you lots of copper and iron and coal, you'll give us a treasure map. You know what? I'll take it. Let's turn up the char. Find and collect lots of carrots and turnips, and it'll give us lettuce seeds and some greens. Elemental transmutation. Bright jelly and lightning in a bottle, which we have in great abundance. Get us some citrus. Ah! You found your first treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside, you'll find coordinates for some treasure. Okay. Well, let's see what's going on with the field upgrade. Maple planks, slate, and bright jelly makes our cereal grow faster. Well, that sounds right. We just need some maple planks. I know we've got plenty of maple logs. Nighttime, we're not going anywhere. Got a little scroll work around the edges now. Yes, things will grow faster. Excellent. Probably not a whole lot left to do with bright jelly. Let's go ahead and do that. We had a sockeye salmon to get some maple syrup. Tea seeds for coffee, beans, and corn. Sure. Doing it for the glims as much as anything, really. Make some more iron. a while. Time to rise and shine and get a move on. Uh, should we go to the meadows? Where's that treasure map? Minus fifty eight, minus fifty two. There. 
Well, let's... Let's go to Resutenio Meadows, since we just found the place. wake everyone up? I think I did. And let's see what Summer has to say about the diamond, because I, I'm i pretty sure I've never given it to her. Oh, here we are. Make sure we don't miss our opportunity to find stuff. Got a diving spot here. what I wanted. Good morning, Sprout. Food. Have some pork chops. Those are pork chops. Stella, this is amazing. Amazingly good. I can't believe it. This is my favorite dish. Oh. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Okay, I've got all these things. Summer! You're getting a diamond after your breakfast. Soul nourishing grain salad. Favorite of mine, to be sure. I'm gonna give you, even though it's expensive, I'm gonna give you the diamond. Don't tell me you found a diamond! Incredible! Fantastic! This marvelous stone attracts abundance, strength, and power, but also courage, fortitude, creativity, imagination, and purity. Not to mention harmony. Stella seems skeptical. Faithfulness, innocence, increased feelings of self-respect and love, and of course, relationships full of pure love. In fact, diamonds are believed to fill negative spaces in oneself with the purity of love. Girl's best friend, obviously. Stella! Oh. Something important. Resutenu Meadows discovered. And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I am truly grateful for all of your help. You were always, after all, a radiating presence. A beacon of light. Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. But our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toriyama on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I'm ready when you are. Just set sail. Well, maybe later. I do desperately need to see Albert. Oh, it's a sheep. This would have been another good place to find one. Look at all these trees. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Wow, I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. <laughs> I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. <laughs> the others aren't looking. I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. 
seagull sitting on the rock, dude. I don't want to do that in half. Not a whole lot going on here. So if we ever need more sheep, we can come back. is within our accessible range. Well, let's try that. Rose. Well, what's up, Summer? When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life. The ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned. Took every dirty penny I had ever earned. I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. I listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. The plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some called it biodynamic farming. I call it the listening to the universal chant. I carved this little nest in the middle of the woods. And when finally it responded, when the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing, stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison, on the day of the solstice, when the hill was emerald green. Well, that's when I asked her to marry me. So, Summer is our aunt by marriage. And, oop, oh, oh. Here is the treasure that our map guided us to. Ooh, a foundry upgrade. That sounds awesome. Nebula fabric, bright jelly, and more lightning in a bottle. We're gonna need more bright jelly then. See your profits double with all those ingots. They mean that literally. That means getting twice as many ingots per bit of ore, which is incredibly awesome. So we need to make sure to get some more bright jelly and be ready to get that nebula fabric and do that. But first, Albert. go for safe travel through the bus stop. Ooh. We've had a lot of hunting around for items.
Of course, Olga's right near there, too. Plant some iron. Exactly what I had planned. I like the rainbow flags behind us, it's cute. Squid! I wonder if we're getting close to having a boot table. Check on that after this fish. Another soul. Uh, need more iron. Oh, and more linen fabric for our icebreaker. Need wool for more. Okay, Alex, take us to this bus stop. See Olga, we'll grow some iron, and then finally, Albert. Wonder if I need to give it any more push at all at this point. That should be enough. I'm not sure I need to grow anything besides iron. the tricky part about Olga and the other turtles really is just that you leave behind whatever you need more of but then by the time the stuff is ready you're already on the other side of the map you have to truck all the way back over in order to pick the stuff up. Have some good lunch. Plain food. There, I made these for you, Munchkin. Your ingot. Nice. And we've got our iron waiting for us in here. Alright, that should be enough for our upgrade. So let's sleep and then we can get underway.
Big stretch. All right, Albert. Haven't had those in a while. Good morning, honeybee. Uh, let's see. Linen fabric. for the blueprint upgrade is wool, so off we go. We can get the other two things, icebreaker and a bigger boat, both of which we are in desperate need of. Hey, Albert. Oh, oh! Wait one second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. Sigh. All right. Icebreaker opens up passage on the ice flow. Iron ingots, oak planks, linen fabric, one spirit flower, and slate. So we could not have this upgrade without giving up Gwen. <laughs> Look at that big old piece of metal clamped onto the front of the boat. And let's get the Dauntless Dolphin. Using most of our money, but now we have more space. Okay, gonna need iron and wool for more blueprints. So, off we go. Now, can we build Alice's cottage? We need more iron, but that's it. We just have to smelt it. Oh, hey, and Olga's ready to go. Uh, we also needed that bright jelly. Not immediately, but kind of soon. Okay, let's let's go back to Olga. She seems to be ready for us. Don't forget. Yeah, fried chicken. I know. He's gonna be asking for that for a while, actually. Just happened to know. Here, have have some fish curry service on this ship is incredible. Got oh, planks. Planks. Get your planks. Made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy. Aw, uh, thank you. Yes, it was great. And... More iron while I'm waiting.
So it's a good thing we did all those errands for glims. Because otherwise I wouldn't have had quite enough to trade. Okay, let's put in more iron. And honestly, even more iron. And just more making sure. Yes, we're done. Through this bright jelly. Oh, oh no, set away from it. Then we'll go to the bus stop. And the, the jellyfish area will ask us to do the event, and it won't let us proceed until we've said yes or no, so we don't have to be quite as careful as we do with, with the uh, green fields. That's cool. There Astrid goes. She has mastered the art of pulling up on the bellows. Alice's cottage. Ha. Is there anything else I can build now that I have all this iron? I need that bright jelly and some nebula fabric. That tools workshop. Oh, just need some more linen fabric. And I can do an upgrade. Okay. Same goes for Alice's stuff. Hmm. Glass. Someone else's stuff. Glass. Photos. Start the event? Yes. Get some bright jelly. down there. Can't get away from me. Gotcha. the same script as the one we did before. Which 
means I'm certain some incredibly dedicated person has put some work into optimizing it. Decidedly not optimal. All the jellies. That's all of them. How many do we have? Thirteen. A good haul. Hmm. That one finished growing, even though it was a little thirsty. Interesting. Uh, more linen. We are using some of it lately. This is one of those games where, as soon as you really get the idea that you ought to be producing a lot of something, you kind of get into a groove for making it. Often you're at a point where you don't need it as much anymore. Which I guess is kind of a reflection on mortality in and of itself. My parents always said that uh, as soon as you become an expert on raising a kid of a certain age, the kid's gotten older. Quantum growth. <laughs> it's the spirit world. Strange things can happen. Almost to Alex. us out to let's go near Mount Toriyama because we have built Alice a house and I'm not sure that the map used to show us what was on the other islands during the bus navigation I'm not sure if it did that in the base game it sure is helpful for remembering why you want to go where you're going Didn't I? Yep. Still got a spirit there for us to find. So he's got a shower to clean off from his woodworking. Doesn't want to hug though. Shall we cook? How about a mussel and some rice? Oh, Summer wants to do something here too. her way to the boat she may appear there anyway. Oh. We're here. Oh. 
what a nice, quaint place. And the view, well, it can't be beaten, can it? Yes, this will be perfect. I see a little promontory up that cliff there. Just go ahead, I'll meet you there. How will I do it? Ah, don't worry, I'm sure I'll manage to snake my way up. Our sheeps. Hey, Alice. Oh, what? You built a house? For me? You shouldn't have, really. But since it's there... Well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. Alright. So, we've got someone new on our boat when we get back to it. But let's not keep Summer waiting. Get up there. Yes. Citrine. Okay, so let's focus on getting up that way. I'll take rocks if I find them, but I won't go out of my way looking for Not this time. Alright. There is something nice about having enough of something that you just don't have to worry about it anymore. There we are. Is it up here? Nope. Okay, Summer. I haven't lost my touch, have I? I might be old, but I still have a few tricks up my sleeve. And beating younglings in a climbing race has always been a specialty of mine. But enough of this. Let's focus on the matter at hand. This lesson, as you might have guessed, will be a little bit special. Up to now, we focused on the proper care of plants and crops. Well now, I think it's time to concentrate on the proper care of one's mind. Sunlight and music were the tools of the former. Well, for the latter, our tool will be the act of meditating. And that's specifically why I brought you here. See this boulder? It hasn't been consecrated for nothing. Powerful spiritual energies flow through the area. I know, I know, it might seem strange. A cult, even. But just humor me. First things first, sit down next to me, just like this. All right, your turn. Interact with the rock. <laughs> the cat sits too. It's the most precious thing. Meditation, Stella, is an affair of wholeness. Of wholeness and of oneness. A lot of novices believe, wrongfully, that meditating is the pursuit of an empty mind. But the mind is not empty, Stella. It is a beast, savage and untamed. Violent and caring. Loving and destructive. Hateful, curious, scared. A ball of frayed nerves. Much like the dragon, it cannot be controlled. It must be allowed to roam free. My father also lived with this tormented creature. Of a different kind, perhaps. He chose to fight it, tried to muscle it down into submission, to mark it under the auspice of violence, and mostly to silence it. He thought that nothingness was the solution. The 
dragon is indomitable. The fight left my father a broken man. Let your mind wander, Stella. Gently. Like you would a scared kitten. Let it smell the grass. Let it notice the wind flowing through your hair. The heat radiating from the stone behind you. Rhythmic breaking of the waves below. Let your spirit penetrate all things, not to make them yours, but to make yourself theirs. Be one and be whole. But keep being. Wow, now it's midday. Still nothing up there. Oh, look at this. Citrine and an old carpet. I didn't know that was there. If I'd looked carefully, I would have seen it. That's a lesson in awareness. Oh. One of the sheep is gone. There you are. Seems like my lesson had quite the influence. You were up there for hours. I just had to stretch my legs at some point. What legs? You're a snake. Hmm. Oh, what are you saying? A vision? Of course. You're the spirit bearer, after all. The mystical energies of this world are bound to affect you in mysterious ways. I'm sure there are other such areas of power. If you find them, be sure to take the time to meditate. Perhaps more visions will rain down upon your mind. You know, Stella, while you were up there, I tried to do some thinking. I wanted to prepare for our next lesson. There's still so much to teach. But I couldn't think. My mind was uneasy. You see, I too have had a vision. A gift from the universe. It's the dragon, Stella. I have felt him creeping slowly towards me. I thought I had some grand purpose to accomplish before he would swallow me whole. But now I realize that the dragon hasn't crept much at all. He has kept up with me for quite a while now. And ignoring it won't do me any good. Well, let's go, shall we? Oh, oh back so soon. <laughs> I was up there for hours. I'm always happy to see you, sweetheart. Don't let me hold you back from your adventures. Okay, so we need to get back to the boat. One. Oh, let's let everyone get to the front. Flashing lights warning, by the way. Oh, what is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right, I'll try to do my best. A hedgehog! 
All the best video games have hedgehogs in them. Oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a waffle and warm as a pie. <laughs> I feel young again. Thank you so much for having found me, young one. So, the player base loves Alice. And she reminds me of someone, too. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Oh, you came. Oh, and she gave us an obble. Oh, maybe she needs to get where she's going before we can talk to her. that in there too long. Paella! Hey! Shellfish and rice make paella. Well, that makes sense. Oh. Would you look at that, Stella? Oh. This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Oh. Well, no worry. We'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool, it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? Oh. And... Oh no, we're on a boat! like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Oh, oh we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella. Shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Shear. <laughs> wool fiber and the key for the Mount Toriyama's house. Aha. And now that the sheep is going to be a permanent resident, I think it's time. Sheep corral. I need more oak planks. Oh no. All right. Well, let's actually no. Let's let's not get sailing because we've got the key for the Mount Toriyama house. Let's go ahead and use it, and then we can come back. Now we could bring two sheep with us if we wanted. And we maybe should, just to make sure we get an influx of wool. Ooh, cherry seeds in a ceramic bowl. I like this. even shear you right away. Now when you build duplicates of buildings, the ones where you're even allowed to, each successive one yeah, poke planks costs more up to the fourth one, and then they're all equally expensive. Okay, now we can start going north. Let's go to the Waldstein Mines and see what's nearby. And let's get those oak planks. Not too many, since we don't want to be sitting in the sun all day. side with the nebula pill bugs and nebula fiber. Oh 
let's see what Alice has to say. Much better. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer, too. That key. I thought I had lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. One of my favorite materials. I chose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it is well fed. This one seems to have quite a large appetite. I suggest you diligently feed him. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Oh, I imagine building a sheep corral would help keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as possible. For the good of the sheep, and that of your crops. <laughs> Indeed. Alice... You need a hug. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. And how about a casserole? Oh, thank you. I was getting quite hungry. Okay, so she likes it, but it's not her favorite. Sheep corral. These are pretty small. Let's tuck it in there and yeah, we're gonna need more planks and more copper ingots for the next one. So one of our sheep is contained, but not the other one. Oh, hello there. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Or so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we could play with them a bit, let you rest. What do you think, Stella? Yes. Wonderful. Oh, we'll have so much fun. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Oh. We can only carry one at a time, but we get nebula fiber. Tons of this stuff. So let's go ahead and eat her again. If we can make some nebula fabric, we can upgrade the boundary. Once we can do that. It'll be way more efficient for us to make the rest of the copper we need. Oh, that's fast. Okay, maybe we don't actually need quite so many nebula fibers. Because clearly the rule of fiber is that especially if you're good at the loom, you get way more thread than fiber and way more fabric than thread. But I'm not arguing. It won't take us long. 32, and I didn't even use it all. Comes Alice. Let's get some building done while she's coming down. Boundary upgrade. There we go. Didn't want to make that copper until I'd done that. Oh, hello there. Okay, exhausted mommy pill bug. Help you out. Hmm. 
We couldn't do this till we had Alice on the boat. Okay. Go to sleep under this lovely eclipse. Taking us far away from any buses, so let's go back to those mines. How are the sheep doing? Unfortunately, each sheep corral only holds one sheep. this copper, our five ore, should give us ten ingots. Definitely wanted to get that upgrade, uh, upgrade done. Whoosh. ingots. Life is good. Getting chilly. I'm getting cold all of a sudden. I think I might just be growing a bit tired. Maybe I'm not rested enough yet? I'll just take a little me time, and then we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. You're making some fantastic progress, honeybee. Don't give up. hug just now. A word. Mm -hmm. Stella, what do I have to do to get fed? Send you a letter? Oh, sorry. I've been running around. <laughs> have some grilled fish? Mm, munchkin, didn't you give me that recently? I don't mean to sound mm -hmm. picky, but do you have anything else on hand? I'm sure. salad. <laughs> if it's been a while since food, I'm sure it's been a while since a hug. Mm -hmm. That was a good hug, if I say so myself. It was. Ah, and we're in the cold water now. Hi, Tool. You can have some steamed shellfish. And a hug. Now I do tend to use a lot of corn when feeding my sheep, so maybe I should grow some of that. Mines discovered. Let's grow some lettuce because we can. Here's the free sheep. He... He's not hungry. So we're all right. 
Can I build the orchard yet? Oh, nebula thread and oak planks. Yes. Okay, we'll look at that in a moment. So what's the deal with the mines? And oh. oh, wait one second there. You can't be here. This mine has been abandoned for 40 years. Oh. You can't just waltz in here. You don't have the proper credentials. But I love the attitude. Oh. I do see some potential in you as a future security recruit. You just need some training. I went to school for this job, you know. Oh. I suppose if you went out and got said, said training, I could deputize you. Could work, actually. Break once in a while does sound nice. Mm -hmm. Listen, go out there and train for this job. Double jump, glide, zip line around. You need to be able to do all that before I make you part of the team. Mm -hmm. I'll see you around, future recruit. Zip line, okay. So we can't get in yet. Nope. This music, though. Swordfish. This music sounds like Christmas to me. Because growing up, our Christmas music repertoire included so much hammered dulcimer. So, I love this music. Wintry hammered dulcimer. Who's here? Sometimes he shows up, even just at random locations. Got anything? Got odd seeds. Sell some things. Zing. Carpet. Ceramic bowl. A delightful bowl. Way too precious to put anything in. Should be sold. Okay, now we should be able to get the rest of these odd seeds. Oh, how about errands? Too many items on the menu. Find and collect. Apple pie, corn dog, and noodle soup. Nebula fabric and quartz would give us hematite. Some blooms. Spare a little bit. Okay. Let's see if we can find the collector. We've got a few minutes left. That would be... A nice way to finish up, I think. We're in the right part of the world now, so we need to go to minus 150, 150. Bye, Francis. Let's see, are there any improvements I can make? Need aluminum. Oh, I need wool and glass for her pictures. Now we've got wool now. Daffodil keeps unspooling this. <laughs> okay, loads of wool. have empty glass bottles. And relatedly, do we have... We don't have glim bottles right now. I have an idea, Sprout. I've been looking at my house. 
It's a little bare bones. As an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Let me have a look. Follow me. Okay, but first, let's plant some things in this orchard. Now, we have two spots, and once a tree grows, it's permanent. The only way to get rid of it is to take out the orchard, so you have to be careful. What you Put in an apple tree. And a cherry seed. Susan's museum discovered. Ooh. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. <laughs> All right. You know what my house needs? A desk and some tools. Yeah, that's it. No, we don't have a lot of space on this boat. This is kind of becoming a dream scenario of mine. My bed next to my tools. It would be like I'm living a fantasy. I could work on my own projects. Maybe build something for my daughter, Ashley. Yeah. What's the use, right? Not like I'm ever gonna see her again. I should stop daydreaming about it. I'm just trapped here. You know what's not funny? I can't even remember her face. So let's just get that desk and I'll figure out what to make later. water these, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, let's see Susan's museum. Just fantastic. The spirit farers here. Mm -hmm. On this god's forsaken rock. In the middle of the ocean. She came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below, with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes. How inviting! Surely I am welcomed here. <laughs> well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let me run the old tape for you. <laughs> Spirit Farer, whose name I don't know nor care to know, I am the collector otherwise known as Susan. The gods, in all their materialistic arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the collector not by choice, but by duty. Through your ceaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders, you will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unconscionable behavior with, well, more junk. What irony, is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with. But the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. So, when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together, grab your meaningless reward, and leave. Quickly. And pick up after yourself. 
So, in glorious mockery of this genre's usual practice of having some kind of museum where you basically put one of everything you find ever, here we are. So figurines, here's one of them. And if we claim this reward, we get, looks like, the wood print that uh, that spirit was after. So, mm-hmm. Well, let's see. What have you got now? Looks like some kind of... Why? Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It is not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts the very essence of my soul. But... Wait. I recognize this. Oh. Oh, no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it, who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? A crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little woodprint, isn't he? Well, now he's never going to see it again. I can guarantee it. Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about asceticism. And as for this preposterously silly collection, your reward is... Let's see. No. This can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, all right. Just take it. Take the bloody woodprint. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just... Just take anything you want and get out of my sight. And we have the woodblock print. Have you collected anything else? We have caught 11 out of 33 fish. How exciting. You've started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. Mm -hmm. They smell bad and they're all terribly ugly, yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. Mm -hmm. They are slippery little bastards. Hematite for us. What else? Gems. Five out of five. Mm -hmm. Broken, shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't let me keep you, Spirit Spiritfarer. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way, who mm -hmm. even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spirit Spiritfarer? It sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Gotta catch them all, yes, and gotta mock them all. Susan, the collector. It's more paintings. Oh, wow. Halfway there, finder of bright rocks. You must really love the way they look. You are amused by such mortal things. It figures. Well, I'm not keeping you. Go. One more. Oh, how wonderful. You've pillaged almost all of the precious gems around. How lucky this world is. Oh, great destroyer, show us your wings. Great. Well, you're clearly not even listening. Take this and leave. <laughs> Ooh, a blueprint. Well done. We are but mere mortals in your presence. Tell us, O oh great spirit bearer, what can I possibly give you that would quench your immense appetite? Well, this concludes the thrilling saga of how many gems you can find. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to not write. Never get to know it all. Crusher upgrade? We don't even have a crusher yet. Ooh, mystery items. 
dishes. Okay. Well, that's all we can do here. Honor her wishes in GTFO. Back to the boat, and it's nighttime, so... We have done a lot of running around today, but we had a very nice time meditating with Summer. And Alice is on the boat now, and we have two sheep. And we have a nice vantage point for looking at the stars. So, I think it's been a good day. You know what? I'm going to... Okay, well, save and quit is all one thing, so... I will take us over to the stream over screen. Because that is what it is. And now, I know that where I would like to raid today is Games Done Quick. They are doing one of their speedrun marathons that they do twice every year. And as is tradition in January, the money is going towards the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So if you are interested in donating to that cause while you're watching all the very skilled players play games over there, uh, look around for the links that they have to donate to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. So get the raid queued up and we can head over there and hope that we will say fewer goodbyes because of cancer in the future. And I'll see you all next week. Thanks for joining me.